Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hello. Hey, everybody. It's John and Julie. We are back in the studio, as you can see. Um, we uh, we had a wonderful uh, trip to Nashville. For those of you that weren't aware, um, and maybe this is the first time you're seeing it, we have a festival mm -hmm. in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, called Life Fest that you all obviously know of because you're on our page. Uh, but there's another page that we're on tonight, uh, and that is the Life Fest Music City page. Uh, as we are looking into uh, starting a festival down there. Yeah. We'll be there July 29th through the 31st. Yes, in... the same month as Oshkosh. Yeah. Only it's a couple weeks later. Just a couple. And it's in Banaqua, not Manaqua, <laughs> Banaqua, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm exciting. so excited for it, guys. Lem is very excited. Yes. Uh, yeah. So how was your weekend, Julie? It's hard to remember everything because we've been <laughs> we were in Nashville working hard. Um, it was good. I I rested. Yeah. I was tired. It was. But I raked. It was a long. It was a long time down there. It was. So when you come home on Saturday and you rake, and then there's like a little breeze, and then Sunday comes, <laughs> and I'm like the gale force winds that came through the valley. Yeah. One, I'm glad I raked some of it not to go to the neighbors, but now my yard is even cleaner. Yeah. Because of no leaves, but then the leaves bags were going down the street a little bit. So. Uh -huh. How about you? Well, I didn't rake. Uh, I have no trees in our in our backyard, um, but I still have leaves everywhere because of those gale force winds. Those no might leaves. have been mine. We had no leaves <laughs> in our yard, uh, and now we have a plethora of leaves. Um, also, as the winds come like down the front yard, like down our street, our porch like sticks out farther than everybody else's. Okay. So all the leaves stop in my driveway. We just have like ankle deep leaves just swirling in our driveway. So that's always fun. We blow them down to the road, like literally every day. Did you have any tumbleweed? It kind of feels that way <laughs> when the leaves all stick together and they roll down the street. But no, we uh, I got got home from Nashville and and uh, I buttoned up all of the drywall in my house. So fun putting on my Chip Gaines hat again. Uh, we now have all of our cabinets are in. All of our drywall is done. It's it's fun doing home renovations by yourself. Is it? Yeah, not hiring we should do a, a show. Yeah, we could. Uh, it would not be highly viewed. It would not be, uh, no one would care. Um, yeah, it'd be very interesting. I'd watch it. <laughs> Lem would watch it. Yes. Adventures with John and Power Tools. Uh, here we go. Uh, Carol's watching. Hey, Carol. How you doing, Carol? Nice to hear from you. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, you know, the Giants win tonight. I can't believe you're watching us and not the oh, Giants. Oh my fan. goodness. My son is a Giants fan, Carol, as you know. So he's owning every TV in the house. <laughs> every light will be vibrating. You have a smart son. Oh, giants. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Did you see Daniel Jones fall down last week? Yeah. I feel so bad for him. I do. That was, But it was really funny. Um, so uh, moving on, we'd like to uh, start off this episode like we do every episode, which is thanking the wonderful people who make this possible. Uh, and that would be our wonderful sponsors of Life Fest and Life Promotions. Hit it, Julie. All right. Sunbelt Rentals, they are a newer sponsor. They started with us last year, got one in, one festival in. Um, they provide electrical everything at Life Fest. I mean, you name it, it's electrical, and it came from Sunbelt Rentals for the most yep. part, right, John? They also provide, like, all of our, like, lulls, like the big telescoping forklifts and mm -hmm. uh, any of those type of power tools that you need, like big machinery and that kind of stuff. They have all that stuff. And you can rent from them. Yeah. They it's do. open to the public, and they they're do. located everywhere. They are literally, uh, technically, ours is the Fond du Lac location, mm. but we also work with the Green Bay location because we get so much stuff for the festival yeah. that both of them help out. So if you need something to rent, I would check them out in that. Michael's on. Michael says Sunbelt was amazing. Michael worked here. He was our volunteer coordinator two years ago. You know, oh. Michael with the beard. Oh, hey, Michael. Yeah. All right. Next one up is Team Winnebago Land, and they are a long-term sponsor since 2012. They are a leader as a dealer in power sports and watercrafts. They have snowmobiles too, everybody, because, you know, we're going to have lots of snow, right? <laughs> um, they're located in Oshkosh right off of Highway 41. And now, I just got word today, they are paying cash for used motorcycles 
you can call in or walk it in while well, ride it in, but they will pay you cash for used motorcycles. Wow. We love our friends at Team Winnebago Land. Mm-hmm. They, uh, they hook us up every year with some of the side by sides, some of the UTVs that we need to use on the grounds. So I got to say hi to Rachel and Jesse over there at Team Winnebago Land. Yeah. Great. They were good. And Carol, of course, is talking smack about the Vikings beating the Packers, but that's okay. Carol? Our team is five and two. All right. Uh, moving on. Uh, <laughs> I wish uh, I understood a- sports ball. Sports ball. So we have our, we have our uh, other thing that we like to do each week, which is our like and share wheel. And our analog graphics um, that Julie has, her little sign there. Um, last week when we were down in Nashville, we spun the wheel, and it was for a Lost Year t-shirt. And the winner of that Lost Year t-shirt is the one and only Mr. Mike Court. So, Yay. Mike, I know you're listening. I know you're out there. Go ahead and send us a Facebook message. Mike Court, send us a Facebook message. Mike Court, please report to the Facebook messenger. <laughs> uh, Mike Court, send us a Facebook message, and we will get you that t-shirt. And this week, if you like and share this, you will be entered to win whatever is on this wheel. Try to get the glare off the sign. And this week it is. It's another Lost Year t-shirt. Hey. Who so we have a Lost Year t-shirt. Exactly. We have more of them. Should have worn mine today. It's that one right there. It's the one that was from 2020, which was sad. But Lost Year t-shirt. Like and share. Mike Court, you won this week. Like and share it, and you will be entered to win. I feel like that. I'm in the dark over here. Yeah. Can you people see me? Yeah, I think they can see. Well, I don't know what they can see. Um, so we have uh, we started a new game, and it's called Google It, and we love to play it. It's a lot of fun. We did some Nashville trivia last week uh, because it was uh, we were down in Nashville. Uh, but this week, as you know, our new festival, the one in Banaqua, is at the former home of Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash used to own the property. Mm-hmm. He used to own... The, uh, the farm that we're going to do the event at. Lived there. He lived there for 30 some odd years. Um, he called it, in his book, he called it the center of his universe. We're super excited that we get to use that property. Uh, it's owned by the Oxley brothers now uh, who manage it and take care of it. They're wonderful mission-minded folks, uh, Christian folks who want to do a Christian event on this property. We're super excited about it. Uh, and this week, to throw a little curveball in it, uh, you've been listening to me and Julie figure this out, but we're going to bring everyone's favorite person, Lem, out of the Fortress of Solitude in order to play along with Julie. Hello. So, uh, I'm friend. so excited about this. Aren't you? I can tell. <laughs> okay, so we've been tweaking this game a little bit because it's been confusing. So we're, we've changed it up. We're completely just, we're simplifying the game. Basically what it is, is it's like musical. It's like name that tune. You get so many notes, but you get so many words to Google the answer to the question. And you get 20 seconds. If you say, I can get this in four words and you don't get it, the other person gets a point. Straight up. You don't have to, we're not going back and forth anymore. So if you miss it, the other person gets a point. If you get it, you get the point. First person to uh, three points wins. Wow. Okay. Yay. Or I'm sorry, first person <laughs> to two points. There's three questions. First person to two points wins. Okay. Oh, well. Wow. So, seeing as how Lem is our new uh, new uh, visitor, he's he's new to this game. Lem, you get the first question. Okay. And again, you can you you say if you can get it in five or six or whatever, and then Julie can get less and the whole deal like name that tune. Okay. What? This is an easy one. This is a softball question. What was Johnny Cash's first hit song? His first hit song. Um. I will do it in four. Four words. Mm. 20 seconds. Julie, can you do it in less? I'll try it in three. Julie's going to try it in three. Lem, you want to try it in two? No. Julie, okay. Here you go. You ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. Julie is typing frantically. And she spelled something wrong, apparently. No, I can't. 12 seconds. It's okay. No pressure, Julie. It's okay. Oh, seven your seconds. You're not going to believe what came Five seconds. Personal loans. Yeah. <laughs> Two seconds. I'm going to say I walk the line. You are correct. Ah! Point At to the Julie. buzzer. At the buzzer. Come on. So now to Julie. Yeah. The next question is for you. Okay. What is Johnny Cash's middle name? 
I saw this in the house. <gasps> and I don't remember. Oh my goodness. Can I'm going to say three. Three words. Lem? Think you can get it in two? I would also need three. I, I, I can't. I can't do it in two. Okay, Julie. On your mark. Oh, on your mark, Lem. Get set. Go. No. Ten seconds. I want to say Lynn. Five seconds. That's her answer. That's my answer. Lynn, you are incorrect. Yay, I get a point. <laughs> <laughs> it's a slightly tricky question because Johnny Cash's middle name is the letter R. Yes. Johnny Cash does not have an actual middle name. He does not actually have a first legal name. Johnny Cash's legal name is J period R period Cash. That's what I saw. Oh, wow. And when, Darn you, it. when you enter the army, they don't use a single initial. So he had to write something down. And his mom wanted to name him John. And his dad wanted to name him Ray. So instead of naming him John Ray Cash, they named him J period R period Cash. And when he entered the army, he said, well, my mom wanted to call me John. So I, he, went with, he went by John or Johnny. So There's your history lesson, folks. Yeah. Wow. All right. So... The uh, the next question, seeing as how we just talked about the army with Johnny Cash, he entered the army in 1950, which was right during the Korean War. The the final question to Julie, yeah, to start is, wait, hold what, on, how come Julie gets to start it? Oh, I'm sorry, Lem gets to start. Lem, what <laughs> did what did Johnny Cash what did Johnny Cash do in the army? What was his job in the army? Johnny Cash entered the army before getting drafted in 1950. Play songs. He was in the Korean War. <laughs> He was not in the band. I'll tell you that. He was not in the band. Uh, I can do it in three. Three. Oh, wow. I was thinking three words myself. Um, you going to try it in two or you want Lem to do it? This is winner take all here. I'm going to try two. Julie's Ooh. going for the, the hat trick here. Oh, all right. On your mark. Enjoy your bar flavored jelly bean. And remember, you only get two <laughs> words, Julie. And you might get set. Go. She typed in cash army. Oh, come on. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. You're right. It's not going to work. <laughs> I found a lot of cash. Five seconds. In the army. Now, can I click on any of the answers down below to continue on? Uh, well, you could have, but you only had 20 seconds. <laughs> Oh man, Johnny Cash was a Morse code interceptor in the army. He uh, he learned Morse code and uh, chose to. Uh... Wow, this seems to be video game related. No, <laughs> <laughs> it has nothing to do with Marvel or video games. I made sure of that. Uh, really. So there was no. I, I, that today. Julie, I just want you to know, I won by doing nothing. Yeah. This week. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> so Julie gets to do a bean boozled. And no sneaking at this time. Last week she uh I she, did. she refused did everybody to do see it. That? John that was, was busy. Uh, he didn't pay attention. Replay. That was pretty silly. Okay, dokie. Ooh, that's a new one. We haven't done this one before. Uh we have. It's peach or barf. By the way, everyone in the comments oh, stream likes like Carol knew about the middle name and Larson knew about the middle name. Uh, Larson did say he was an airman, which is not true. He was a Morse code, you get a beam but he was in the Air, he was in the air, air, air Corps. So, um, yeah, people are sharing it. Remember, like and share this video. Uh, and if you like it and share it enough, um, you can well, you can only do it once, but you get entered in to win uh, a lost year t shirt this year. So, Julie, yeah, what, what did you just what did you spin on? Um, peach or barf? Peach or barf. Okay, great. Is that that one? It's that one. Mm -hmm. It's like the orangey looking ones. Yep. No one Have else taking one with me? You're not going to, them. I'll remember that. 
<laughs> no pressure. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got peach. Oh, it's peach. Hooray. Oh. Julie, yeah, I would have gotten barf. There's, there's, there's no way I wouldn't have gotten barf. <laughs> it's so nice to get a nice one so every so often. I think it's what been a month. Yeah. So, uh, so we uh, we're moving into our Christian entertainment news, Julie. Mm -hmm. And you said you've got some good ones for us. Thank goodness I had a peach. Otherwise, yep. I'd still be sucking down water. This would be a long segment, otherwise. <laughs> this would be a long segment. So, okay, winners of the Dove Awards were announced on October 30th. Yes. Do you know the answers? I know some of them. Okay. Well, I don't have to do a bean boozle if I don't get it. Do I? <laughs> well, maybe. We could have done Dove Award trivia. That would have um, been all right. So, artist of the year. Um, if I had to guess, I would say for King and Country. You are correct. Yes. I didn't know that one. I had to guess that one. New artist of the year. Uh, we the, the kingdom. Two for two. And these are I have not seen the actual announcements. So. Uh, contemporary Christian artist of the year. Contemporary Christian Artist of the Year. Um, contemporary Christian Artist of the Year. Also for King and Country? No. No. Chris Tomlin? No. TW. TW? Mm-hmm. Torn Wells? Yes. Ah. Yes. I like Torn Wells. Yeah. And Mr. Toby Mack, one of my faves, has announced um, his own tour it's called hits deep tour starting in february and after looking at the date at the dates and where he's going i, I think he's hitting the southern swing <laughs> well because it's an outdoor driving tour it's not exactly going to be well, outside in wisconsin i can only hope texas alabama uh, florida south carolina kentucky and he's doing indianapolis oh indy that's yeah that, they're pretty warm in the winter time yeah yeah and unfortunately natalie grant has uh been diagnosed with covid oh natalie grant we love we love Natalie. Yeah. I did have one other Dove Award. Um, Skillet won the Rock Award. Yes, they did. Kenosha's very Kenosha's own. Uh, so congrats, everybody, yeah. except for Natalie. Everybody but Natalie. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry about that, Natalie. Um, so we, uh, speaking of COVID, uh, COVID obviously has shut down what we do. Typically, life promotions, we're out. We do 150 school programs a year. We're in public schools. We're out in front of students. Uh, that is what we do. That's why we do the festival. Uh, uh, in part, it's a fundraiser for um, doing school programs and, and helping to do that throughout the year. Uh, our president and founder, Bob Lenz, obviously we've shifted from doing public school programs because you can't go into public schools right now. Uh, and we, so we've started a devotional. We've done a daily uh, daily devotionals, mm -hmm. Monday or Tuesday through Saturday. They also appear on, no? Tuesday through Saturday where? On our Facebook page. Oh, sorry. But That's they're also on the radio. Yes, they are. That's what I was focusing on. Sorry. <laughs> they're on the radio Monday through Friday. Uh, you can catch them on 89Q. You can catch them if you're listening out in Pennsylvania on WJTL. WJTL, yeah. And tonight's Hope for Life devotional. And, and you can catch it anywhere else. Oh, the oh, podcast. podcast. Yeah, you can catch it on the podcast. Lamb. Always good with that. Yep. Um, Apple to Lathing is our sponsor for the Hope for Life devotionals with Bob Lenz. Roll it. The Proverbs 24, 16. For though the righteous fall seven times, they rise again. When you know you failed, you know you failed God, your family, your friends, yourself, your own standards and integrity. The shame drives you to the ground. The ache of your heart screams for release from the pain in your stomach. You weep and you wail from the depths of your soul. You shake in desperation. You're now in a fetal position. You even lose the will to live and give up on life itself. The chains the past, but the choices of the past have changed your future. You want to die, but even fear death. Yet you fear life as well. I've blown it. I feel like it's over. I can't make it better. You're helpless at the end of yourself. Then Jesus comes and holds you and dries your tears, which only brings new ones, but now they're tears of hope, accepted even now. And uh, of course, you can catch that every day on our Facebook page. You can catch it on the radio. You can catch it in the podcast, however you want to consume that stuff. Um, 
Bob is trying to be everywhere. And for our good news segment this week, mm-hmm. um, we uh, we have some good news. We actually did a live event. We were actually in front of people again. Uh, Bob Lenz uh, flew down to Florida, uh, mm-hmm. and he was at a social distance concert with the band Christafari, uh, our good friends in ministry. They they do a lot of that. When Bob does his international stuff, we've been doing uh, events in Peru. He's done events in uh puerto rico or haiti we've done events in uh vietnam bob flew over to vietnam and in india he's been all over the country or all over the world uh and we do these these little concerts these reach outs and while life fest obviously has 25,000 25 27,000 people at it um some of these outreaches will have 30 35,000 people cuz they're they're just these free wow. massive concerts in these impoverished areas um and uh so Christafari did a concert in Florida. It was a free, free, free concert, an outreach event. Uh, and Bob came and spoke at it. It was indoors. Uh, everyone was socially distanced and with masks. But it felt really good for Bob to be on stage in front of people. Uh, and there were eight people who, mm. uh, who received, uh, received the gospel at, at that night. And, oh, cool. Um, yeah, made a decision to, uh, to follow Jesus at that event. So uh, it's good that Bob's out doing these things again. Obviously, the, the landscape looks different and the, 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 the world is just completely different than it was mm-hmm. uh, a year ago at this time. But uh, for Bob to be out doing the gospel, doing the thing that he does, uh, it was great to have him in Florida. And, and it was awesome to see uh, people come to faith, uh, That's good. even in those, even in the weirdness that we're in. Uh, it was awesome that he was able to do that. So that's why I like his hope for life devotionals, because, you know, everyone knows we're not in a great time right now. And um, this week is going to be tough. And through all of this, the hope for life, that's what it is. It's a minute of just a little ray of sunshine just in your heart. It, that's all it is. It's just a quick listen. It just brightens you up. It just shows that you're not in it alone. Um, so it's helped me because <laughs> this is not fun. Well, tonight is, but yeah. <laughs> in general, you we know what I'm talking here. about. <laughs> yeah, we have fun, but but COVID isn't fun. COVID's been no. uh, it's been tough. So, um, well that, that tell me of, about it. Yeah. What Lem? COVID. Lem, I said, tell his, me about it. <laughs> in his, in his poor of solitude. Um, I want to know if anyone's got questions about Music City. Yeah. So again, we're doing Music City. It's in Banaqua. Uh, not Manaqua. Not Manaqua. Do 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 do. I knew you were gonna yeah. do that. <laughs> Uh, any clue about artists, Carol, you know, we don't give out artists till black Friday. Um, still the case here. Yep. So only a few more weeks, Carol, we'll, we'll, you'll survive. Um, we'll, we'll get you, we'll get you to, to black Friday and then we'll, we'll release our artists and then you'll be fine. And Carol, if you come on down to Nashville, there'll be a place for you to work artist merch. We're excited. Absolutely. For you. Uh, and so we actually do want to encourage any of our people who volunteer at life fest, you can, the same volunteer opportunities will be available down there. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's camping. There's all kinds of stuff. If you want to maybe make it a road trip or make it a different event, maybe. It's not a bad drive, really. Yeah, we were, we, we've we done it a few times now, and, and you go down and back, and we've been shuttling members of our team down there to see the grounds and kind of figure out how to how to lay everything out. So uh, tickets for both events go on sale uh, on that Black Friday date. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you've got questions about the event, put them on the Facebook page. Uh, Micah, who's uh, faithfully sitting there answering your questions, he'll always be there running the comments for us. Um, and if you do have other questions, how many stages? Oh, uh, so down there, it'll be four stages. We're not going to have six right away. We're just going to have four. Uh, so there's a barn. There's a Johnny Cash had a big old barn. So yep. there'll be one in the barn. Uh, there'll be a U stage, kind of like the Edge stage. It won't be covered, but it'll be an outdoor version of that. We're working on the names of the stages. Yes. So um, then there's the main stage, much like the main stage where all the big acts will play. Uh, and then we're looking at doing a kid zone again. Mm-hmm. So there'll be a kid zone version. That one, that name's in kid zone and main stage. Those are the solid names. The other two need a name <laughs> yet. Uh, and that's another thing. Actually, our camping villages, we were trying to come up with, with, oh, with yeah. clever names for the camping villages because obviously some of you guys live you know, in family farm and mission field and all the different camping villages, electric central, all the different things we have in Oshkosh. It's kind of fun to let just be like, we need new names. We need to come up with brand new names for the, for the, for the fairs or for the, for the camping area. So we were thinking like walk the line and you know, some of those. I've got them here. Oh, you've got them. Yeah, I do. Um, Sueville. Sueville. <laughs> so my you, yeah. You got to know uh, some of Johnny's songs. Um, 
I, now it'll take me forever to find them. Ring but... of Fire group camping? No. Uh... Uh, Sueville. Sorry. There I, it is. Yeah. I got it took him a second, but he got yeah. it. Um, Jackson. Oh, yeah. going to. J- I'm going to Jackson. Folsom. Ooh, that'd be the, that's where the naughty people go. That'll be the group site, right? The, the naughty group sites, yeah. <laughs> we'll put them across the. So we're looking the, for 10 names just list. because we want to pick and choose. Yeah. So, so if you got some names for us for camping villages, throw them up there. Um, so again, we'll be down there. It'll be July 29th through the 31st. Uh, it'll be a lot of the, a lot of similar artists cause we'll be booking them together. Uh, but it, it'll also be different artists. There won't be, there are some artists that can't do life fest in Oshkosh, but right. can do uh, Nashville and there's artists that can't do Nashville, but can do Oshkosh. So, uh, we're excited about having both of those opportunities, uh, in front of us. So, yeah. So go ahead and start throwing out names and give us some options and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll life fest music city. Life Fest Music City. We're excited about it. So uh, just a recap. Obviously, we're, we're doing Music City. And um, those of you that, that were at, weren't were at the top of this thing, uh, we do our like and share. So oh. like it and share it. Mike Court, Mike Court, if you're listening, you have won the Lost Year t-shirt. And next year we'll be giving, or next week we'll be giving away another Lost Year t-shirt because that's what we hit twice on the wheel. So like it and share it. Get entered in to win a Lost Year t-shirt. Uh, and away we go. So... It's at long last. Lemma huh? Laley. Oh, yay. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Is this another Bean Boozle? It is. Yeah, it is. I know these things right now. <laughs> so I also want to remind everybody, uh, obviously, tomorrow's election day. I don't know if you've heard. Hmm, really? But tomorrow's election day. So Who do we have running? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to just. There's play. a lot of people running. No. Um, I'm not sorry. Just make sure you vote. Like, I, I'm not going to tell you to vote for I, you know. Just exercise just your right. Just go out and vote. If you don't vote, you really can't complain about the outcome. So You can. But you you can, can, but then you didn't do anything about it. So right. just make sure you get out and vote. All right, Lem. Lem, are there any hints to this song? Um. Yes. Great. Okay, great. It's- um, we, we've been talking a lot about Nashville, so I'm going again with a not a country song, but a western oh. song. But it's also a bit of an old school rock and roll. Okay, so it's not a country western song. It's no. a western song. It's a western song. But no. it's also a bit of a rock and roll song. Okay. Now you guys get to play this at home, okay? So this this one works a little bit differently. If we if I get it, then Julie has to do a bean boozled. If Julie gets it, I have to do bean boozled. And if one of you all get it first, well then you get to pick. I probably have to do it, but you get to pick. So someone someone you get to pick who does it. So. And I'll remember your name. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay. Are you ready? I am yeah. ready. <clears throat> I wish I were that was horrible. <clears throat> like King of the Mountain? Is it Act Naturally? Hey, Jenny! Carol Johnson. Carol Johnson? Carol Johnson. Wow. Carol! Who sang that? I have no idea. Buck Owens, but oh, also the Beatles. Oh, the Beatles really? did it. Okay. Good old Buck so, Owens. So, Carol, who are you, you going to make you being boozled? <laughs> I have a feeling I know. Lem made it up. <laughs> Lem made it up. Carol. 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 She may. She may be watching the Giants right now. We don't know. Oh uh, yeah, seven thirty. She checked out. <laughs> Any word? Right. 
Here Norm, who gets to do it if Carol doesn't write in the next five seconds? Come on, oh, Norm. me. I'm John. Oh. Thanks, Carol. I'll remember, I'll remember this when you're asking for, uh, you know, mark this down. Who to work for. Um, <laughs> uh, juicy pear or booger? Mm, fun. I cannot do that one. We don't have any of those left. <gasps> we don't have any green ones in here. Mm. We might have to get the other pack out. I don't know why you guys didn't buy that big giant one. I know. Tutti Fruity or Stinky Socks? Oh, I like Tutti Fruity. Tutti Fruity stinky is Socks is actually one of the better of the bad ones. I'm so thankful for you just said that. So <coughs> He put it in his mouth, everybody. He didn't cheat. That's Tutti Fruity. Wow. How do you guys get all the good ones? What all I get night. is bad ones in mine. Because you bought the box that says all bad ones. We swapped them out. No, no, not that one. I, although I do have that one. <laughs> wow. I was going to dangle my water in front of you. Uh, nope. Duty free. That was pretty good. Go for two. Go for two. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> <trying to learn. laughs> Ken, Ken in our office was like, I was wondering if John just fakes it. And then I got that barf one a couple of weeks ago and I was just... <laughs> <laughs> that was so bad. Anyway, thanks, Carol, for uh, for looking out for me on that one. Thanks, Carol. Every time I win and I get a good one out of here, that's just one more bad one that Julia left. I know. Later. I see. <laughs> there's a lot of one flavor in here. Yep. Um. Oh my gosh. Well, that's our time. Uh, thank you all for hanging out with us. Remember, Black Friday's coming. That's when we announce our artists, and you're going to want to look, listen to the family if you're local. We're going to have radio stations that have announcements all that stuff's gonna be coming out check back here on mondays uh that's when we'll be dropping on our music mondays we'll be dropping uh artists yeah pretty much between now and the end of the year well black friday and the end of the year is when when the artists will start popping out but black friday will be our big announcement tickets will go on sale for oshkosh tickets will go on sale for music city mm -hmm. camping will go on sale all that stuff will be out black friday uh and then uh artists will start rolling out next week we have a new adventures with ken and lucas oh my gosh next week Oh, we make Ken go up a ladder. That's funny. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, for everyone at Life Promotions, for Micah, who's working the comments, for Lem and his Fortress of Solitude, for Julie, I am John. Thank you, guys. Remember, everybody stay safe and wash your hands.